Hello, my name is Dennis Williams and I'm a process control consultant in the power industry and I own a Piper Warrior 2 and in Pennsylvania in the winter time I use a device to keep my engine compartment warm so that I can always go out and fly the plane whenever I want to without a preheat. Uh, currently I have a device that is a Yokogawa single loop controller and it's got a wired thermocouple on it and I would like to upgrade to this system so it's in the process of being built and tested. I wanted to switch out the Yokogawa controller with a PIC microchip controller and also don't want to wire the thermocouple up through the engine compartment so I decided to go wireless with my temperature sensor. So this is my project. I've done a lot of research on YouTube and on the internet so hopefully by posting this I can pay back uh, some of the people that have helped me out and some new people that are looking to get into PIC programming. So I'll describe my project real quick here. Like I said, I have a temperature sensor. Right now I'm measuring 76 degrees. Actually, um, this is the XB chip that's sending the data over to my processor board. Every uh, five seconds you'll see that top LED flash that's indicating not only that it received data but that it did a checksum on it and that it's valid information. Uh, below is the output. It's a pulse wave modulated output which goes to this industrial dimmer circuit and it's firing the AC down the gray cord to my lamp which is generating heat right now. Um, since I was only using the receive part of the XB circuit to receive the temperature I used to have this uh, joystick and these LEDs were my indication of what my temperature was but I decided to utilize the transmit functionality of the UR chip and drive an indicator. So now you can see that my temperature is at 75.4, my set point is 75 and my output is 34.3 percent and in the lower right corner I'm monitoring uh, the timing of my program so that if uh, I stop receiving data, I can tell how long it's been since my receive has occurred. So eventually this will all be packaged into a toolbox which I'm building and it'll sit on the right wing of the plane. It'll have an input for AC and an output for my lamp bank which does generate the heat out in the hangar. And that's the project. I also used a PID control algorithm inside the programming of the chip to move the pulse wave modulated output up and down based on the temperature deviation. I used proportional and integral action only. I didn't use derivative. And maybe in some future videos I will post some more information about the project.